Hey, thanks for tuning in. I wanted to do something fun today and it is a very unique recipe. I found it in one of my books that I got from my sister-in-law for Christmas and um, I've never seen it before. I've never seen it sold in the stores before and um, I wanted to challenge myself. I'm getting a little bit bored in quarantine. So it is cream brulee cheesecake bars. Yummy, oh my gosh. Whoever gets a um, load of this is lucky. So hopefully someone will be up to breaking their diet after this is done. So let's get to the ingredients. So the first ingredient is one pouch of sugar cookie mix. Okay. So let's just go ahead and get the pre-made pouch. No need to add more um, difficulty to the recipe. This is a very challenging one, I have to admit, but it looks like it's gonna yield good results. So one pound sugar cookie mix, one box, either French vanilla jello pudding, or all I have is um, regular vanilla jello. It'll probably taste the same, not to worry. Two tablespoons brown sugar. So I already had pre-measured my brown sugar. Two tablespoons brown sugar. One half cup butter melted. There you go. I already had measured it for the convenience. Two and one half teaspoon vanilla. So this is where we're going to have to siphon off the recipe a little bit. In the first part, I'm just going to use one teaspoon of vanilla two whole eggs. So I have two whole eggs, but you have to siphon the two into two separate eggs. So here is one egg, and then the second part of the recipe will have the second egg. Two packages of cream cheese. So this is all I had today, but um, it's pretty good. We don't need the expensive stuff for this, all right? So this is just original cream cheese. One half cup sour cream. So this is already pre-measured, just regular sour cream. There's no sense in trying to get low fat for this sour cream for this one. This is already a diet breaker. <laughs> one half cup granulated sugar. So just my stock of sugar. Three egg yolks. All right, so this is for the second part of the recipe. I already kind of measured it out there. And two-thirds cup toffee bits. So, these have been in the store forever. And these are the Heath Toffee Bits. Runs about 250. This is the only brand that I've seen on the market. Um, but we'll use this later after everything is cooked. So keep it aside. All right, so let's get started. So like I mentioned earlier, there's two parts. So we're just gonna get started on the first part. So. I'm going to start opening all my packages here. Here is the cookie mix. Here is the vanilla pudding. Here is the brown sugar. Here is the egg. And here is the melted butter. Okay. So the surprise is that this is the mix for the crust, the first part of the recipe. So this is the crust. Okay, so let me look at my instructions here, make sure I got everything. The cookie mix, the pudding, the brown sugar, the butter. Oh, one teaspoon of vanilla, one whole egg. So yes, let's put in that one teaspoon vanilla. cookie, sugar cookie dough as cookie crust, but nevertheless, I think it's going to be really, really good. I've used um, shortbread um, cookie for shortbread crust. I've used 
graham crackers for crust. And then of course just regular pie crust with flour. But never a, never a cookie batter mix. So it's already coming along. So let me see if I can squeeze it all together and bring it to you. Okay, so this is what I have here. This is a combination of everything we talked about. There we go. All right. So, this is a crust. We get to put it into a pan. What I'm going to do here is go ahead and get my pan ready. Alright, here is my pan. Um, go ahead and spray it down. I got my canola spray here. I'm going to spray it literally. I don't want anything stuck. Nothing. Alright, and then we are going to push the crust into the pan. And then there is the crust again. And here it goes. And I think um, the cream cheese that's going to go on top of this will help keep the crust together because it's going to be a little bit um, wet. Sometimes we worry that crust will just fall apart. Still tastes the same, but appearance is everything, right? <laughs> okay, so I'm working fast here. And I hope this turns out well so that I could just go ahead and bring these to my um, family parties and stuff. Everybody always looks forward, wants to know what's on the menu. Looking good, crust. Looking good. All right. Kind of slap that down a little bit. And then there you go. There's the crust. What I am going to do is I'm just going to spray. You don't have to do this, but I, you know, this is an experiment. I'm just going to spray the top of the crust a little bit so that it kind of keeps it a little bit wet just to keep it together so that when I put the topping, maybe it won't crimple apart, crumble apart. Okay, so there you go. Beautiful crust. All right. Now, the next challenging part of the recipe is the cream cheese. All right, let's wish ourselves luck here. Okay, so I got my bowl for the rest of the ingredients. So in a medium bowl, beat cream cheese, sour cream, and granulated sugar. So here we go. We got the cream cheese. We got the sour cream. And then the granulated sugar. One half cup granulated sugar. Woo sugar upon sugar upon sugar. So one half cup. All right. So I could find my grating ingredients. If not, my grating machine stuff. If not, I will have to beat it by hand. <laughs> I found one of my skewers. Okay, here we go. Oh, nice. <laughs> Second one. 
try this. Um, let's try this by hand first. It's a little bit tough. The cream cheese was just kind of came out of the fridge. So I am going to mix this up by hand. So I got my gloved hand here, not to worry. <laughs> So um, it's getting pretty smooth and the instructions say um, add remaining whole egg and three egg yolks. All right, so let's double check. Two whole eggs and three egg yolks. So that was the ingredient list. So we add the remaining whole egg and three egg yolks when I have this kind of smoothened up. So it's getting there. And um, as you know, cheesecake is so rich. It's so rich. I hope I can get enough serving out of it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and add a single egg. And then the three egg yolks, the yolks part. I, would, I was thinking it was more the whites, but it says yolks, so gotta go with the recipe, trust the recipe. to kind of further smoothen it out. It's only had one mixing um, spoon there. And um, I think even if this is kind of still on the lumpy side, it's cream cheese, it'll melt in the oven. So. It's coming along well. It has a yellow tinge to it. I'm just working on it a little bit more because once I pour it in the batter, I'm done. So the pie, um, the cookie batter that I pushed into the tray there. Okay, so just a little bit more and then we're done. Check cream cheese, sour cream, granulated sugar, add remaining whole egg, three egg yolks, oh, and remaining one and one half teaspoon vanilla. There we go again, almost missing the vanilla. So one and one half teaspoon. So one and a half teaspoon. What an easy fix. the best I could do. I can't beat it up more than that. So let's just go ahead and put it into the pot, the pan here. So here you go, another look at it. And um, here we go. Let me just double check again. Sour cream, sugar, 
remaining whole egg, three egg yolks, one and one half teaspoon of vanilla, beaten until smooth. All right, here it goes. Ready for this? All right. Always scary when you um, finalize something that you've never cooked before. So here we go. That's a lot of cream cheese. That's some yummy stuff. I hope I have some friends that will take this out of my hands. This is a lot. <laughs> but I'm sure I can find some very lucky soul that will. Not too worry. Okay. So here we go. Here it is. Let me bring it to you. Let me pan it to you and show you the top. Here you go. There is that cream cheese layer. Okay, so the next step is, it's gonna be 350. Um, the instructions say, preheat the oven to 350. And um, we'll see, we'll see. 30 to 35 minutes or until set in the center. So we'll see, every oven's different, but that is a recommend recommendation. All right, so that's what I'm gonna do. It's already on. And I'm going to put it in and set my timer, and I'll see you in a bit. Take care. So I just got back. It's been about 35 minutes in the oven. Let's see what's going on. So it's looking pretty good. I'm gonna stick my toothpick in here and see if it's done in the middle. I think it is. So the um, thing about cheesecake is that, um, of course, when it's hot, it's gonna be a little bit um, watery. So the instructions are to put this, chill this for about three hours, and then you serve it. So. I'm just gonna go ahead and lift up some of the edges here. The edges look a little bit brown, which is good. And then the recommendation was about 35 minutes. So regardless, it is cooked. All right, so quickly, remember the toffee bits we were talking about? This is the time that we're gonna put them on the top and it's gonna go ahead and do like a little melty melt. So. Here it goes. And like I was saying earlier, I have seen this, um, this English toffee bits on the shelf for about five years. I didn't know it existed. So it was a nice surprise that this particular recipe wanted it. Okay. Okay, so this is the end product. Woo! I'm glad that it worked out. It's the very first time that I have ever cooked it. So let's get the light on it here. So I was just a little bit nervous, but it looks, looks pretty good. gonna dare to cut into it so I can give you a close-up and I want to see what the inside looks like it might not look completely together because it's still hot but let's go for it anyways all right wish me luck 
Let's get the corner. I love corners. Alright, here we go. Ah! Okay, good. Whew, it came out okay. So, let me try to get you close up. Here is the cookie crust. Here is the cheesecake that is right on top of the cookie crust. And here is the topping. Try to get that really close without it falling apart. There you go. It's a little bit better view. So delicious. All right. Well, thank you for um, tuning in on this. This is that was kind of challenging for me, but like I said, I needed a challenge. I'm getting bored in quarantine. So that is a cream brulee cheesecake bar, and here is a professional picture that I have been referencing to for this whole recipe and it looks very similar so I have to um, say that the recipe is a legitimate recipe. Alright, take care. Bye bye now.